Oya Oya Wee 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 Kia Masa Masa Rati They say death is inevitable and no one knows when his or her last moment on earth will be, so many have decided to live each day like their last. The music industry has over the years lost some amazing talents to the cold hands of death, but while they are no longer with us, we definitely haven't forgotten them and the impact they made while alive, and so with fond memories hits on TV, remembers four artists we lost as we take you down memory lane to their works while they lived. Number 1. We remember Susan Oluwabinpe Filani aka Goldie. Goldie, born on the 23rd of October 1981, was certainly one of Nigeria's finest female artists. She was fierce in her delivery and always brought that extra spice in her music and videos. You know it, her collaboration with LD won a nomination at the Headies in 2011. She fully ventured into music in 2009 and was signed to Kenny's Music at that time. With her extravagant nature or craziness as most people would term it, she was able to carve a niche for herself in the music industry. In 2010, she dropped her first album titled Gold and her second, Gold Reloaded, in 2011. In 2012, she joined a host of others as a housemate on the Big Brother Africa TV reality show. She had amassed a fan base that spread across Africa when in 2013 we lost her to the cold hands of death. She was said to have complained of a headache after returning from the Grammys in Los Angeles with an autopsy revealing that she died from a heart disease. She was 31 at the time and was buried at the vaults and gardens in Ikoi. Keep resting on Goldie. You know Number 2, we remember Baba Tunde Okungbowa aka OJB Jezro. OJB born July 4th, 1966, was known to have produced some of the greatest hit albums and singles in the history of R&B, hip-hop music and the entertainment scene in Africa. He worked with Two-Face Idebia and single-handedly produced Face to Face that was made up of tracks that include African Queen, which took Two-Face to another level. He worked with Beanie Man an American-based Jamaican musician and produced artists like Rugged Man, Jasmine Olofin, Weird MC, Paul I.K. Dairo, Daddy Shoki, Sir Shino Peters, and Ulu Maintain. OJB also produced albums and songs for FaZe, Iyanya, The Banch, Dorella, Wizkid, Yemi Alade, and so on and so forth, to mention a few. As a musician, he is one of the greatest vocalists and by virtue of years of experience as a producer, he was able to impact his gathered knowledge into his style of music, thereby making him versatile in his final album, No Drama, with great hit songs like Searching and Pretete. The respected music producer and singer started battling with kidney problems in 2013 and was constantly flown out of the country for treatment that same year, but sadly in June 2016, he died a week after his kidney transplant failed and on July 8, 2016, he was laid to rest. Continue to rest on OJB. You is with me, tomorrow we will show the job the talking, yeah, don't be afraid, oh. don't, don't. don't be Number 3, we remember Kefi Obariki Don Momo aka Kefi. Kefi, born on the 5th of February 1980, 
was a female gospel singer and composer. As her passion for music kept growing bigger, she started writing and composing songs. In the year 2000, she released an album titled Trip and that made way for her into the Nigerian music scene as a gospel artist. In the year 2003, she got signed to Alex Entertainment, a record label founded by her former choir director and she released her Branama album shortly after that. Thank you, my God, oh. The Branama album brought her into the spotlight as a fulfilled gospel artist with sales both national and international and that served as a starting point to her successful career as a Nigerian gospel artist. Sadly, on the 12th of June 2014, we lost Kefi to lung failure after being in a coma for 15 days at a private hospital in Los Angeles and on the 11th of July that same year, she was laid to rest at her hometown in Delta State. Continue to rest on in the bosom of the Lord, Kefi. Number 4, we remember Obiajulu Walzoi aka MC Love. He was a musician known for his Afro hip hop style of music. Born in a number of states, he graduated from the University of Nigeria, Unsuka, where he read sociology and anthropology. He was the only son from a family of four. MC Love shot international prominence with the release of a remix of Osondi Owendi, originally done by the late high life legend. Osita Osadebe. The singer comedian was said to have a close relationship with Flavor and other Nigerian artists. On the 14th of September 2011, the prolific Eastern Nigerian highlife music artist died in an auto crash along the infamous Benin Ore Road on his way back to Anambra from Lagos. May his soul continue to rest in peace. And with a saddened heart, we remember these great ones and we pray that they continue to live on through their music. Oh,